Hey guys, it's Core Ross, and today we are talking about X Defiant, what people are calling Ubisoft's Call of Duty. And in this video, we'll be going over what has been revealed so far about the content roadmap when the game launches, as it'll be getting a constant supply of new content for free, and the game is also free to play. So first of all, at the time of making this video, we don't currently have a launch date for this game, but I'm assuming it'll be out sometime this year. But we do know what we'll be getting at launch. So first of all, there's going to be five factions. These are kind of your operators and abilities. And these will include the cleaners from the division. You've also got the phantoms from Ghost Recon Phantom. You've got the freedom fighters from Far Cry 6. You've got Echelon from Splinter Cell. And you've got DeadSec from Watch Dogs. The other confirmed features are 24 weapons with 44 attachments, 14 maps, three arenas and two linear modes. And then you've also got, of course, a battle pass for Ubisoft to make that sweet, sweet money from. And now let's talk about the post-launch content that is very much following in the steps of Rainbow Six Siege. There's gonna be seasonal content every three months. And this is gonna include new factions. This is basically like your new operators and your new abilities being added into the game. And I do expect Rainbow Six Siege will be one of those new factions after launch. There's also other additional stuff coming with the seasonal content. So you're going to get new maps, new weapons, new battle pass, new cosmetics, and there's also going to be events. So this is very much following the format of Rainbow Six Siege, but where Rainbow Six Siege has started to kind of pull back in a lot of the new content, so it went from like two operators to one and stuff like that, this is going on with operators, maps, weapons, all of that is getting added in and this should be a lot of content every three months. Also very cool to see events right off the bat. That'll be great to see what they can do with that. And Ubisoft has also said that they are committed. So hopefully that is true. They're not gonna give up on this game after a year or something like that, fingers crossed. But at least they've put forward that commitment that they're gonna do that. So we'll see if they give it support. Recently, they cut support for Rainbow Six Extraction after just one year. And Ubisoft's last attempt to make a free-to-play FPS was Hyperscape, which Ubisoft also gave up on. But I'm hoping this is going to be, you know, longer term. Also, currently, I am loving the game and the look at the future content. So I'm planning to cover this into the long term. So this is just a first video in potentially a very long series that might last many years. And it'll also be very cool to look at the new factions, the new gadgets, how it's all going to play and the interactions between all the factions once the entire game is out and we've got a couple of content drops from seasonal content. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. And let me know what you think about this in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.